whole wonderful person, this is Anton, and today we're going to be discussing a discovery of yet another mystery that nobody can explain right now. A mystery that the scientists reported in the paper that you see behind me, and that they even gave a kind of a creepy name. Scary Barbie. I'll explain in a few seconds why. And so in this video, let's talk a little bit more about what exactly the scientists believe this is, but I guess more importantly, talk about things that we really don't understand. But in order to understand the name that the scientists gave it, we have to start with a discovery and with how exactly this was found. So today, in order to discover various events in outer space, for example various supernova, or various really fast emissions, such as fast radio bursts, the scientists rely on a lot of automated facilities. Facilities that are able to capture data or even analyze data and then report on it almost right away, but pretty much do so without human interference. One such facility is known as ZTF, Zwicky Transient Facility which in essence is just a camera attached to one of the telescopes in the Palomar Mountain Observatory. But the purpose of this camera is to look for transients, or unusual bursts of energy such as the ones caused by supernova or other similar events, very often involving stars. And quite a few of these have been discovered in the past even in the last few years. We actually discussed one of the bigger mysteries just a few months ago, the event from the other transient the scientists now refer to as BOLT, brightest of all time. An ultra-bright gamma-ray burst that produced ridiculous amounts of energy, but in this case relatively fast. You can learn more about this in the description below. But when it comes to these events, because they all happen at random times, and basically because they can happen in any location in a nice case, these facilities have to find a way to designate them so we can actually know where exactly they happened. And a lot of these names end up having really funky nicknames. The most famous example here is the cow. This was a transient that happened in 2018, but because of the random letter assignment, the letters spelled C-O-W, cow. And so this is now technically known as the cow, another really unusual, potentially supernova, that we discussed in videos in the description. And so likewise, this time, another series of letters resulted in something that kind of looked like Barbie. Or I guess E-B-R-B-E-I-E, -E, sort of resembling the word Barbie. But because of the very unusual properties of this event, and because at the moment it doesn't really have a very good explanation, the scientists decided to nickname this Scary Barbie. A very, very unusual event that once again was detected automatically, and once again contained unusual properties. But what makes this discovery super intriguing is that these are some of the most extreme properties we've ever seen from anything. And that's actually why I'm pretty sure this is going to be an ongoing topic for many, many years. At the moment there is no good explanation for how exactly this formed. So let's start with these properties. What makes this so weird? So for example, we've seen plenty of supernova out there, and we know that generally they can even be brighter than certain galaxies. A supernova event is no longer strange for us. But occasionally, a very bright event, such as Bolt right here, does not fit the patterns we expect. Such as, for example, being way brighter than anything else. And in this case, this particular event seems to be approximately 1000 times brighter than a typical supernova we're basically producing 1000 times the luminosity. But by itself, it's still not very unusual. We do have events such as hypernova that technically can produce as much energy. And so apart from being so energetic and so bright, one of the main reasons this is weird is because of the total length of observations. It's been going on for over 800 days. Basically almost 3 years. And that would be very difficult to explain. A lot of supernova usually lasts weeks, sometimes months, but never two and a half years. And more importantly, it doesn't seem to be ending anytime soon. It might still be going on for many years to come. And the last thing that makes this particular discovery really strange is what you kind of see right here. There doesn't seem to be anything else in this region. As if it happened in the middle of nowhere. In other words, there doesn't seem to be any galaxies that this is attached to. Now this might have one explanation. Once again, related to its brightness. This could be just so bright that we're not seeing the galaxy because the galaxy is not bright enough. Especially because it seems to be coming from a distance of almost 8 billion light years away from us. The redshift here is almost 1. And so it could be coming from a galaxy, at least that's what the scientists believe right now, but we're just not seeing anything here. And for this reason, the observations from telescopes such as the James Webb would be absolutely necessary to discover the origins of this unusual event. But it's still, most likely, some kind of a natural event, very likely involving a star. And we can come to this conclusion by looking at its luminosity graph that you see right here. It does resemble something that suddenly became really bright and is now slowly dimming over time, but obviously much much brighter than anything else we've seen. And based on some additional observations, including the actual wavelengths coming from here, 
The scientists concluded that it's most likely related to some kind of a supermassive black hole in the center of some kind of a really hard to see galaxy. In other words, there is one of these somewhere in the middle. But more importantly, this is related to a very common event we've discussed recently, known as the tidal disruption event. Essentially, when a star approaches the black hole really, really close, ends up being spaghettified, assumes the position around the black hole, possibly creates a really large part of the accretion disk, and increases the brightness of this black hole by a huge amount. And if so, it would be the most extreme tidal disruption event ever seen. In general, TDEs don't last that long and also do not produce as much energy either. So whatever happened here must have been extreme and is still very difficult to explain or to understand. But assuming that the scientists are correct, they believe it probably involved a black hole that's about 25 times as massive as the one in the middle of our own galaxy, or over 100 million solar masses, that then resulted in a TDE of a star of approximately 14 solar masses. At least that's the only calculation that kind of made sense. However, there is still no explanation for why it lasted so long. Way, way longer and way more powerful than anything else. But because we don't think anything else in the universe can produce so much energy, it had to be some kind of a supermassive black hole. And the only way these objects can produce such observations is usually if there is a star involved that suddenly falls apart and starts to release all of its energy as it becomes spaghettified. Now, as I mentioned, you can actually learn a little bit more about previous detections and even previous unusual discoveries in the previous video that was just released a few months ago that you can find in the description. And so one reasonable explanation in this case would be maybe we just haven't seen enough of these events to discover how truly powerful they can get in reality. Maybe some of these events do actually become ridiculously powerful, especially in certain conditions in certain types of galaxies. But the only way the scientists are going to be able to find out more about this or prove any of this is by using other telescopes. First of all, the galaxy has to be found, because if this wasn't produced by a galaxy, then this would be a completely new mystery nobody can explain. If this was a detection of a rogue black hole in the middle of nowhere that suddenly absorbed a star, this would be a huge discovery. It would actually be the first discovery of a rogue supermassive black hole traveling between galaxies. Now, we definitely believe these exist, mostly because of the way galaxies collide, which can occasionally end up in a black hole, leaving the galaxy and basically traveling by itself. But as of today, the only potential discovery was this. And as you might have learned from one of the recent videos, which is as always in the description, this turned out to be something entirely different. Not a black hole that escaped producing stars as it flew, but something way more common and a little bit more boring. I'm not going to spoil it, check out the video. But anyway, on that note, well, at least for now, that's basically all we have. A really strange, completely unexplained, and basically never before seen powerful event that produced more energy than anything else we've ever seen and seems to have lasted for approximately 800 days. No explanation yet, just a weird name, Scary Barbie, which means that we'll be talking more about this in the next few months. And so until the scientists discover what's happening here, that's pretty much it. Check out other similar events that we still cannot explain in videos in the description, subscribe, share this with someone who has learned about space and sciences, come back tomorrow to learn something else, and maybe support this channel on Patreon by joining channel membership or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye-bye.